welcome to season two of the Fit to Love podcast show. Today's show was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at fittolovebook.com. Today's show, proper form for a lat pull down. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been focused on back exercises and the row and the one arm row had a very specific use of your shoulder blades. We were doing retraction to initiate all those back muscles to actually do the exercise. So the lat pull down has a different action of the shoulder blades. It's actually depression. So rather than the shoulder blades coming along your rib cage towards your spine, they actually lift up and they pull down. So this is um, depression of the shoulder blades and we have and I'm going to show you that from the side and from the back so when using the cable cross machine you want to use another straight bar so again you can have a 90 degree angle you want to grip the bar where your wrist is over your elbow and again we have that 90 degree angle because that's your widest angle that you're going to be able to hit with your elbow you don't want to grip wider than that because you're going to compromise again both your wrist and your elbow joint when trying to do this exercise the cable cross is not necessarily the best place to do this exercise because I want to get right underneath my resistance. I don't want the resistance in front of me. I want it right over top of me. But I can only get as close as the machine will let me. So just in case, use this form on a true cable cross or a true lat pull down machine, not this one. Okay, so I'm gonna come closer. I'm gonna show you from the back first. I'm using a ball to sit on. You can also use a bench if the ball is too unstable for you and you just want to learn this action without having to worry about core stability. So I'm going to grab the bar. I'm going to get underneath this as much as I can. And then I'm going to start this exercise with depression first. Remember, when we did the row, we did retraction. So now I'm using depression first to make sure my lats are what's initiating this motion. I've got depression of my lats, and then I'm pulling down with the rest of my arms and my back muscles. So again, remember, it's not about the relationship to the bar to your chest. It's a relationship of your muscles and the bones that move those muscles. So I've got my shoulder blades pulling down, and then they're also retracting a little bit on the way down. So this is the end motion, and then I'm going to let back up again. So again, we're going to depress, then we're going to retract. Let me show you from the side. Now, when it comes to your posture, you don't want to have an extended spine. Try to be as straight as you can. Use your abs to tuck your pelvis and have a straight spine. And lift your chest up a little bit to elongate your spine so when you actually depress your shoulder blades, you're really contracting everything in the back. So I'm going to start with depression of my shoulder blades, and then I'm coming right over here. So again, it doesn't matter that the, where the bar is in relationship to your chest. Some people do this, and as I try to pull down with the bar, do you see what happens in my shoulders? It stretches out my lats, stretches out my back muscles, and I'm in inter internal rotation of my shoulder, which is not necessary. Because again, like I said last week, it, your muscles have no idea what's in your hands. It doesn't matter the relationship to whatever's in your hand and your body. It only matters where the muscle inserts and originates and how it contracts and the kind of resistance that you're using. So remember for the lat pull down again, using a bar or something that's wide enough for you to grip so that you have a good wide, 90 degree angle that for you to pull and then using your shoulder blades first before you bend your elbows otherwise again we're going to use our arms and this is incorrect incorrect is pulling from my arms see what happens to my shoulders my traps we want to use our back muscles that's the point of this exercise is to get all of those lovely lats traps rhomboids and then we'll get some biceps and shoulders at the same time the Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If this show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, 
L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.